This video is about the power of walking away today. I'm going to explain why walking away today has got great power behind it almost immediately. To find out more, please stay tuned to this very important video. Welcome to the SCG show. Please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and turn your life around with my sponsor, BetterHelp. The link is in the description below. Before I continue, let's clear up some much needed misconceptions associated with walking away. And this could be walking away from a friend, a partner or a family member. What is walking away? I believe walking away is simply ending a relationship completely cutting contact and remaining no contact. Removing photos, social media, telephone numbers, and my personal favorite, the blocking of all forms of contact digitally. What is not walking away? Walking away is not blanking that said person for a few days or weeks, then acting like nothing's happened. Walking away is not staying with the said person romantically who has taken advantage, abused or mistreated you. Here's some walking away myths. Walking away is often described as being the coward's way out by certain individuals claiming that people should face their problems head on. One person emailed me saying the following regarding this very subject. Life is all about ups and downs, SDGs and difficulties, and you encourage your viewers and readers to walk away the minute things get tough in relationships. Shame on you, that's not fair. No, that's not what I mean by walking away at all, my friend. And never once in any of my content have I ever mentioned that walking away is easy. Yes, you can and will have problems in your relationships with people. That's a given. But what if you're dealing with a severely toxic person? A person who perhaps lacks empathy. They gaslight you, love bomb you, take advantage of you and enjoy it. What if you're dealing with a sociopath, a bully, a nasty human being? a narcissist are we supposed to grin and bear abuse from a toxic person waste our precious lives you know because we can handle it no most likely the mask has slipped of such toxic people and thanks to the internet and life experience we're piecing together the jigsaw we're realizing that indeed people are more toxic and entitled maybe than ever before and it is not our duty, responsibility or job to put up with such behavior, especially when, God forbid, it may have a very dangerous effect on our mental health. Walking away, in my opinion, is not cowardly. It's bravery. And if we enforce such boundaries to begin with and learn about these said individuals, the world would be a much better place. Let's continue. If you're enjoying this video, please smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and support the SCG show by becoming a member. The link is in the description below. There's one thing that is non-negotiable, that's your time. No matter what you believe in, whether you're religious or an atheist, you cannot negotiate. My dad died at 62. He was healthy, just unlucky, caught illness, and he passed away in 2020. But in the last few years of his life, he saw me, his son, dating the wrong person, a narcissist, and it broke his heart. But at least he got to see a few months of freedom after I walked away from such a toxic relationship. My point being is you're running out of time, and you probably don't even know it. And the best time to plant a tree was 10 years ago. And frankly, if somehow I could get into a DeLorean and go back in time, I'd stop myself from ever staying so long with such a toxic person. The years I wasted with this person, I'll never get back. I turned 30 when I was dating a narcissist, a huge milestone for me, only for it to be ruined by the narcissist. I hit huge milestones professionally. I managed to turn things around and I couldn't celebrate them properly because I was babysitting a toxic, entitled brat. I overcame huge personal obstacles. I gave up gambling. I was addicted for years, but again, ruined with the negative partner. You are not going to get the best years of your life back, no matter how hard you want it. You're not going to rewind time, no matter how bad you want it. You're not going to relive those glory days, no matter how badly you think you can. If my dad was here right now, he'd say, Hey, live your life to the fullest. 
and the fullest the most content you'll be is possibly without the toxic or negative person you're married, you're dating, or you're hanging out with, your friend, your family member. What I'm trying to tell you is, you are running out of time. So quickly, so finitely. Days become weeks, then they become months, and then they become years, and in some cases, decades. I still cannot fathom, understand, comprehend or believe I dated a narcissist for as long as I did. Some might say it was not that long, some might say it was too long. But ultimately, those were years wasted. Your time is precious. Firstly, I'd like to take a moment to tell you about my official channel sponsor, BetterHelp. I've personally used BetterHelp and I found it to be so effective for completely turning my life around for the better. BetterHelp is an online portal that provides direct to consumer access to behavioral health services. The online counseling and therapy services are provided through web-based interaction, such as phone and even text communication. BetterHelp gives you four live sessions a month and unlimited messaging in between sessions as well as access to the group therapy webinars that get updated each and every week. You can sign up for the BetterHelp online counseling service below. By using that link, you'll be supporting the SCG Show community. So turn your life around with my channel sponsor, BetterHelp. The link is in the description below. If you're at all empathetic, you may be assuming that you're somebody else's saviour, their hero, white knight, etc. My dad was so empathetic. He'd always say, don't write people off, there's good in everyone. No, there isn't, dad. And, you know, I'm kind of religious as well. And that goes against certain aspects of my faith, but I'm also rooted in reality. I mean, there's a passage in the Bible that says, do not cast pearls before swine, meaning do not put your energy towards the pigs and scum of the earth. I remember when I first got together with my toxic partner, and let's just say her life was a disaster. She was older than me, but still lived at home, expected a man like me to save her, pay for everything, didn't bother to learn to drive, wanted to be taxied around by me, didn't really have a career or a job, just did some part-time work. She hardly educated herself, no reading, no personal development, and she was extremely manipulative, a liar, and very immature. Despite me seeing most of these red flags early on, in contrast, I was flying in my life at that time. My career was soaring, I was making money, I was in good shape, I was extremely confident. I was stupidly attracted to her beauty and thought to myself, you know what, I can save her, I'll turn her around, I'm going to be the one to fix her. You cannot save those who don't want to be saved. And no disrespect, if you want to be the saviour, then you're already setting the precedence of your relationship moving forward. I turned into her dad, her bodyguard, her uncle, her taxi, her life coach, her tax advisor, her accountant, her everything, and she fought back with vengeance each time. My dad even naively told me, guide her, show her the way, make her life better. But narcissists are so arrogant and delusional that they do not wish to be shown the way. Instead, they wish to be told what they want to hear, aka, you're perfect, you're amazing, you're the best. We're not put on this earth to improve people who don't want to improve. Help those who take advantage of us and others. We're not here to show people their faults and how it affects and harms us if they've got no self-awareness. We're here to enjoy and live our lives the best we can. You were not put on this earth to save them. Especially when deep down and we look at it, it's ourselves we need saving. The next reason there's power of walking away today is so you can thank yourself immediately for doing so. I'll give you a personal example of how me and my brother had a mutual friend who was nothing but a selfish, toxic person. He would only ever manipulate, take advantage and gossip about us behind our back, hurting us in the process. I caught on to his wicked ways and decided to practice what I preached and cut contact, never speaking to him. When he confronted me on it, I basically told him I'm not interested in being his friend at all. I warned my brother of the behaviour of this guy. Yet, like an ostrich, my brother disagreed, put his head in the sand, didn't want to know. My brother said, he's not that bad. You're overthinking things. You're wrong about him. He's good to me. Then, 
Not surprising me at all, this toxic man eventually betrayed my brother, stabbed him in the back over something, hurting him terribly. I hate to say I told him so, but I saw a change in my brother's outlook, as he finally understood where I was coming from. My brother said, yeah, this guy's a jerk. I cannot believe I, he did this to me. I can't believe I didn't see it. I was naive. I trusted an untrustworthy person. And just like me, he followed in my footsteps, cutting that toxic guy out of his life only a year or so after I did originally. By doing so, my brother thanked himself for having the courage and strength to do so, despite it not being easy. Remember, walking away is not easy. It's also not for everyone. It's certainly not for the faint-hearted or the weak-minded or the overly empathetic person seeking validation and attention. But it is essential for a better overall quality of life. Just the other day, I saw a friend of mine who's going through a grueling divorce to a narcissistic man. She has aged horribly as a result. So much stress is in her life and she's on the edge of a breakdown. I wish it was in your shoes, SCG, she says to me. You're very fortunate you never ended up marrying the narcissist. I wish I never made the mistake. Why did I stay? If you can, walk away immediately. And then, after you do, this is really important, thank your lucky stars that you finally did it. Hey, if you're enjoying the SCG show, feel free to make a donation to support my work via PayPal. The link is in the description below. Have you ever heard the story of the person who walked away from someone toxic and was miserable? Or that their lives had declined ever since they packed up and left? Look, you're going to find a Debbie Downer, a negative Ned, who's always going to harp on about an ex and live their life in misery and limbo. But fortunately, since I started this channel, I've seen so many people who have changed their lives for the better by walking away. Here's a few testimonials and emails I've received and even comments from people saying this. I wish I walked away sooner. I'm so invigorated to have my life again. I find it fascinating how less stressful my life is since I left. Well, since I walked away, I've had more energy, more happiness, and more peace and calm in my life than ever before. I finally regained control over my life. I can do what I want, go where I want, be who I am. There's no more hiding. I moved on recently, and my God, my new relationship is so much better. I have a new circle of friends I socialize with. They're some of the most amazing people I've met in my life. Family's a title, but my friends are now my family. They have been more loving and more supportive than my family have ever been in my entire life. I and many readers and subscribers are living proof that there is immense power in walking away. That life does get better when you move on. That you do attract better after doing the work and healing on yourself. That the people you're walking away from have not appreciated you, haven't changed, taken advantage or cared about you in the way that you deserve. So use us as your inspiration. Talk to others who've made it through the other side. Hell, when someone wants to break up, who do they call? Me. Because I've done it. I've been on the receiving end as well. I know it seems daunting, scary, bleak to start again, to be alone, to be single, to be divorced, to co-parent. But what is worse is flogging a dead horse, wasting that time and staying with the wrong person because once again, you will never be good enough for the wrong person. Here's a quick word from my sponsor, Aura. Do you know who needs to invest in digital security? anyone with something worth protecting. And if you're watching this video, I'm guessing that's you. Because like most Americans, you've spent a good part of your life building a life worth protecting. That's why I'm excited to partner with Aura, who is sponsoring the SCG show. Aura is a digital security solution that protects your online accounts, connection and devices with one simple subscription. For as low as $10 a month, you'll get alerted to fraud and threats fast like if your online accounts or passwords were leaked online, or if someone tries to open a bank account in your name or social security number. Aura will protect your devices from malware and encrypt your Wi-Fi connection so you can shop, bank and stream online securely. All plans come with $1 million in identity theft insurance to help recover eligible losses and experienced US-based customer support that's got your back. 
for hardworking Americans who've worked their whole lives to build a life worth protecting, I strongly recommend Aura. So if you want a secure online presence from hackers, scammers, and noisy advertising companies, go to Aura.com slash SCG show. And when you use my link below, you'll get up to 40% off all plans. So sign up to Aura today. The link is in the description below. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe.